Hello everyone. We've been studying through Isaiah chapter 61 um and uh, just been excited about the beautiful uh, insights that we can glean from this passage. Let's read today from Isaiah 61 verse 2, the second part, the last part part of it and verse 3. So it says to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they will be called trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he may be glorified this passage begins with to comfort all who mourn we know that we live in a sin stricken world and the effects of sin are um definitely not pleasant you know, sin only sin entangles us as the book of hebrews says sin never brings freedom it enslaves us and keeps us captive it keeps us oppressed uh, and because of that you no know, uh, we lose our peace we lose our joy but we notice here in the ministry of jesus um, and in this messianic prophecy that he is somebody who will comfort all who mourn he will comfort all who mourn so this is the god we serve not only does he bring deliverance into our lives but he sees the pain which sin um afflicts us with and uh, god tenderly wants to comfort his children uh, you know that is such a reassuring thought i want to take us to second corinthians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4 where it says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ the father of mercies and god of all comfort who comforts us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by god once again you know we see in the new testament a reference to comfort that comes from god and we are told that our god is a god of all comfort he sees our afflictions he takes notice of our pain you know nothing um uh, goes unnoticed by our god and the word comfort means solace it means consolation it also means exhortation and encouragement and god brings this into our lives so depend on god because our god is a god who wants to comfort us and i also want to add based on the passage that we read you no know, we said that he um brings oil of joy for mourning so god replaces our mourning and he replaces um you know our sadness with rejoicing he replaces it with cheerfulness and gladness uh, and god is a god who has done this in the lives of many people in scripture you know, we could just make a list of uh, uh people like ruth and uh, hannah and gideon and uh it, all the people that jesus went to and ministered um healing deliverance miracles to they were they uh they saw the sorrow turning into joy materialize in their lives and that is the god we serve and today um i pray that you will experience the comfort and the strength of god let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you for being a god of all comfort and Lord turning our mourning into joy Lord we pray that the oil of gladness will be poured upon your people Lord let there be rejoicing let there be gladness oh God let there be cheerfulness in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org